，去看看效果。I can edit that out. Hey guys, and welcome to another chapter of the Mo Chronicles. I don't know. I feel like a bunny. I feel like David is taking experiments on us again. Yeah, I was gonna say that as well. So let's get straight into it. <laughs> or, or not? <laughs> they're, they're more like deers caught in the headlights. Oh, like they're, Jesus, they're definitely deers caught in the headlights. you. <laughs> okay, so do you want to know what's in here? Yeah, he's here. Keep guessing. He's an ass. I mean, <laughs> show it to me. Let's put it this way. There's a reason those glasses are in front of you. Oh, okay. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's all right. Oh. <laughs> I haven't felt it. Oh, the wow. glass in 16 years. Finally. Wow, okay. We get to meet. Finally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So. Wow. Now this is going to be interesting. Let's go into the blind tasting because there were some words said that you definitely want to say. Yeah, stick to your words. What was that movie? Fast Contact? It's like a reunion. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome back. It smells fruity as hell. It's a real, real fruity on the nose. If I would say one thing on the nose, that would be black cherries. All I can think is breadfruits. Add to that some oak. A gentle layer of smoke. Slight little honey note coming through as well, along with the fruit. Pear drops. When I said cherries initially, now it explodes into everything that's dry. Raisy sultanas, figs, whatever. Like really ripe apricots. But it's softer. It's softer than I expected on the nose. Uh, slight winey notes. It's very herbal. Um, a little hint of spice. A little hint of nutmeg. Um, I'm getting um, kiwi sort of a freshness to it. It's definitely woody. A whiskey. I think it does come from the Highlands, 35 maximum I would pay for this. Not even, I'm going to actually say 30 pounds. I think the malt scotch whiskey is somewhere from the Highlands. 50? <laughs> so, okay, okay. Wow. Um, yeah, Dave, go straight into it. Yeah, so um, in, the, in the blind tasting, yeah. you guys picked out a couple of flavours. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about some flavours. You mentioned honey. Yeah. Bitter honey. With great bitter honey. Yeah, he's got this bitter note from it. And uh, you mentioned sherry a lot. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's finished in something. <laughs> yeah. As far as I can see. It doesn't say sherry there, guys. It doesn't say <laughs> sherry. Madeira. Yeah. It's Madeira, yeah. Different wine. wine. Okay. Which is a fortified wine. wine. Okay. Oh, it's a fortified wine. wine. Thank you very much. <laughs> but yeah, some of the flavours I'm getting in this. That's also, you mentioned, uh, smoky. Okay. Yeah, now, I don't so, actually get a smoky character on this, I get mm -hmm. this like, fiery note from it. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not quite smoke yet, it's still the embers of ash turning into flames. It is a... Oh my god, I <laughs> <laughs> It's a very different character, which is interesting because they don't actually peat any of the barley at uh, Averveldi at all. They used to, many years ago, now they don't, it's all... Just left to dry. Wow, it's right. Highland. It's, it's, it's a, a Highland, well, right? It's, you know what? It is a Highland, but it's a Highland not in the Highlands. It's beneath space side. So <laughs> <laughs> when you see it on a map, it's, okay, it's literally in the centre of Scotland. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's just just a bit out of the way from everywhere. Such a nightmare to get to whenever you go to Scotland, but definitely go. Oh, you've been there. Ah. Definitely go because this is. A very interesting tour. Go back into flavors a little bit more yeah. because I already mentioned a couple and I want to dig into a couple more okay. flavors. I get this real multi character. Yeah. I don't know whether you picked that out. I said oaky. Yeah, yeah I mean, oaky is definitely yeah. there. I, I describe this whiskey as an, as an oaky whiskey when, yeah. when I describe it. It's, it's oaky, there's vanilla, caramel, honey. Um, you get a slight spicy note from it? No, mm -hmm. I'm gonna stick to my cherries. Mm. <laughs> 
Um, okay, you stick to your chair. Can can apricots? Can apricots? Yeah. Oh, okay. I did. Can I did like your rape. A uh, ripe apricot. Ripe apricot. Wow. I mean, <laughs> where is the squirrel? Well, on the a squirrel. There's a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's part of that old. Um, Old marketing. There's also a train. There's a still. There's a couple of different things. Uh-huh. That um, the train is because of um, it's, it's uh, was owned by John Dewars and Sons, and they use it as the heart of their blend. Mm-hmm. But we're not going to dig into John Dewars. We're going to dig into Aberfeldy, and uh, they essentially they built it right next to a train line, okay. so that they could ship all of their whiskey around the world. Yeah. So yeah, makes that, sense. That's nice. The squirrel was due to there was a there's a forest nearby and. It, Literally, it's just a just squirrel. Just squirrel. There's, not squirrel? So, there's not so many squirrels there anymore. But um, you know, you know, it's funny because you would associate a bottle of whiskey with a stag, with mm-hmm. a deer, like a big stag, and then you have a bottle of scotch that has a squirrel, a big squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a second, what's that fluff? <laughs> you also know Diageo's Flora and Founder range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Actually, yeah, that's true. They this have used to be, this used to be owned by Diageo. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah, yeah. And they sold it to Bacardi, and mm-hmm. Bacardi now own this product. Okay. And, uh, they changed their packaging on it, so mm-hmm. the, it was it was known as the Golden Brown, and it used to have this um, yellow and yellow and black packaging. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was quite a dull colours. Um, I'll bring up a picture so you guys can see that. And uh, they converted it to this golden black, which I think looks incredible. And yeah, they call it Golden Brown because there's gold in their water source. And they've gone out and got this checked, and from what I can tell, the gold purifies the water mm-hmm. the same as a copper steel would purify your spirit. From what I can tell, that's that will happen due to the chemical structure of gold and it being a radioactive material. Wow. Sorry, that's a little bit boring and nerdy. <laughs> no, I am all. I am nerdy when it comes to whiskey. <laughs> well, that's great, love. Again, like on the taste, like for me, I didn't really pick up too many flavors on the taste. Um, um, I did at least try again. See um, if you pick them up now. Okay. Now that you know what it is, it's going to open up a couple more characters. You're going to pick up those more whiny characters in there. Jesus Christ, they, they mark every single mm. bottle. Oh no, batch. They mark yeah, every batch. batch. Mm. Yeah, the bottles, uh, they mark. Still the doing a bit to note though. That, that bit of finish well, that I'm not really a fan of myself. That's due to the two types of sherry that they use. Okay. So they use two types of sherry to produce. Mm-hmm. Did you say sherry? Or I, I, I. <laughs> 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 I said Madeira, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> um, so the two types of Madeira cask that they use, one of them is the more sweeter type, and yeah. one is a, a more uh, has that more bitter character okay. to it. Right. But they use that, and they say they age it for up to twelve months in Madeira cask. Twelve months up to twelve, up to a year, up to, up to a year. And okay. I, when I, when I read this, I was like. Yo, that's a long. That's, like, that is a, like, that's, that's a, a long, long finish. finish. I wasn't yeah. expect, when when I first tasted it. I was like, oh, so that's that's done at least four or five months. I, I was impressed with it. Mm-hmm. But to hear up to twelve, and that's what Stephanie's saying. The master distiller for uh, Bacardi, like that's that's impressive. Wow. I am very impressed with how long they're aging, and they also age it in three separate barrels first. So for sixteen, well, I guess for fifteen years, they age it in um, American oak casks, reused American oak casks. And then they use sherry cask, which is a slight sherry note that you are getting. And they combine the three I together. Told you. <laughs> I told you that. Then, uh, <laughs> then they then finish that in a Madeira cask at the Bacardi Warehouse. And that's very impressive. Wow, man. Some great knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, whoa. Listen, isn't the other Feldy like they have one of the biggest warehouses in, in the Highlands? Wow, oh, really? One of the biggest ones that isn't being used. So Aberfeldy don't use their own warehouse, they use a big Bacardi warehouse. So oh, they've got so, um, Bacardi use one warehouse for Royal Brackluff or Craig Allerke, um, Aberfeldy, mm. their entire portfolio. Like they use one warehouse, one storage unit, yeah. and keep everything there at a local site. Mm-hmm. It makes it easier for them to blend their John Dewars. Because I remember I read in a book that they invested about a hundred and something millions just to build warehouses around, like twenty something warehouses. Uh, there, there, there's lots. I mean, I say I've been there. There's lots of warehouses. There are some really nice whiskies in that warehouse that they've kept and they paid the duty on just to keep some yeah. you can try when you go around and do the tours. They do have a theatre centre, and for the past, I think it's three years in a row, mm-hmm. they've won the best. Um, tour in wow. Scotland, the whole of Scotland. And I like, people go to their tour to and them. then they go, wow, look what they're doing. Oh, wow. And they okay. move it everywhere cool. else. I have a friend, he said that he went to Aberfeldy a couple of years ago and they actually organized a hunting tour for him. No oh, way. Wow. No way. <laughs> yeah, apparently you can what? hunt around. So whilst we're doing some scoring, 
Uh, Fast, do you have anything to say? No, I was wondering, is that the natural colour? No, they do add caramel to it. And um, do you know what? what's crazy is I, when I was at the distillery, I bought a natural coloured whiskey that they do produce, mm. but this thing is black in colour. Like seriously, like the, the whiskey is completely black. Perfect. I don't believe until I try. Exactly. I was going to say. And I'm going to try. I'm going to say. Exactly. Oh, okay. So, okay. So what you're when saying? When are you going to get to try this? <laughs> right now. You can have another try. <laughs> 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 right now. All right. So this is a travel retail exclusive. Uh -huh. They do a 16 year old Aberfeldy that you can buy on the high street mm -hmm. for around about 50, 60 pounds. Okay. Um, but the uh, Madeira cask is travel retail exclusive, which you can only get it when you're flying, and it's about 85, 85 to 100 pounds. But, it's a but it is a litre bar. So it's and the same price. price so it's the... roughly the same sort of price. Okay. And I'm fortunate enough to try the 16, yeah. and the Madeira cask easily. Yeah. Easily, there was so much more going on that Madeira finish made it incredible. I rated that. Maybe that's a video for another day or something, a comparison. Once again, <laughs> why am I buying every whiskey? <laughs> <laughs> I want to say something. It's good to see finishes on Aberfeldy because yeah. Aberfeldy was uh, one of those brands that stick to their guns, to the classic style of whiskies. But it's good to see some changes in the brands. It's good to see they bring in something new, some experiments. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like unless you look at the uh, Bacardi's portfolio of their exceptional cast, they tend to try and keep it quite consistent. They stick to what they know, but they're starting to push the boat out and do some stuff that's very interesting. One to watch <laughs> in the future. Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick whiskey fact uh, until you boys are doing the scoring. Um, <clears throat> it's actually about health today. Health benefits. That's what the doctors say. Drinking a moderate amount of whiskey can actually have benefits. Okay. Drinking whiskey can prevent cancer, reduce the chances of a stroke, and also reduce possibilities of a heart disease. Wow. And that's not it. One to six glasses of whiskey over a week can lower an adult's risk of dementia. Wow. But guys, wow. remember, small amounts. Small amounts. Yeah. Don't be a donkey. <laughs> Don't be a donkey. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that, so that, that, that's a cool little fact. Yeah, that is, that is a cool little fact. Right. So, so, up, right? so basically, um, yeah, on the taste, um, it kind of just dropped for me, but on the nose it's fantastic. There's so much vibrancy and fruit and flavor. But on the finish, it really dipped for me again. So I'll give it an 82. Uh, very impressed by the finish on that. 88 from my side. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, people a lot describe whiskeys as Christmas cake. I think this is actually like a Christmas cake. Mm -hmm. Yep, I completely agree with what Vass said. I gave it 88 as well. I, um, I really like this brand, I like this product, and uh, hopefully we can see some more finishes in the future. Like a 21? <laughs> Like you a 20. pay for it. <laughs> 21, right? They do do a 21. Maybe that might just have that bit more finish that I'm looking for. Yeah, you might. <laughs> you, sure, you sure you haven't got any connections or anything? Nah, I got none. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, on that note, we told you a bit about us, now we want to know about you. So hit us up with a comment if you've tried Aberfeldy 16 Madeira Cast or if you tried any Aberfeldy. And I'd just like to say a big cheers out there. We're more chronicles and we're out. Boom.